hi friends welcome to my channel today we are going to learn so what are the views so here we have a views of six types and what are the styles in sketchup okay so watch the video till the end and do subscribe my youtube channel for more videos see so we have a, a, see if you right click the mouse here you can go with styles and views if it is in a hide hide you can just unclick see so not now it is in a hide right if you want to unhide so just right click the mouse and go to the toolbar and select views option here you will get a views and style option okay so so in a views first one will be iso view okay so iso view means this one so you can view this template so this is iso view or 3d view and this is the top view okay if you click on the top you will get a top view you can observe here left side top bottom you can observe this is a top view and this is the front view so here you can observe front view and this is right view and this is back view and this is left view okay so uh, i will i will create one more floor plan then you can understand so i will select iso view first or you can go with directly top view select the top view and click on the right uh, rectangle option okay so now here you can enter the distance okay of uh, 40 feet comma 30 feet enter so here you can see so exactly the top view if you click on the 3d view then you can see the view like this okay now uh, i want to increase the uh, thickness of floor right i need to add the floor thickness so what i will do i will go to either a uh, front view or i can go with directly 3d view and select principal option shortcut p and uh, raise the height of 6 inches enter okay now go to the top view so in the top view you can use offset so in uh, my previous videos i have explained about uh, what is the draw tools and what is edit tools and all so you can check it out that so how to uh, practice that okay now i will select offset option select the offset from the edges to the i am giving a setback of 3 feet enter to the enter now what i will do i will do a built up area of a wall thickness 9 inches enter so here now either we can rotate or we can directly select the iso view it is nothing but 3d view okay so i think now you understand by using the views how to create a floor plan right so first what i will do i will go to 3d view uh, sorry top view and select the line option and cut the edges like this and 3d view okay by using the areas option i will delete this two lines and to raise the walls what i have to do i need to select press pull shortcut p and just select the wall thickness and enter the height of floor like this okay so uh, in a front view how it looks like means that we can set so like this and this is a right view and this is a back view and this is left view right so i think now we understand what are the views right now uh, we will see the styles style is nothing but uh, visual so how it looks like okay so here you will have first one x-ray so x-ray means it displays the model with globally transparent faces if you click on this you will get a you can see the option like this okay so the why means uh, while creating the floor plan it is easy it is easy to understand for us so how it looks like okay now next one is back edges back edges it displays a model with back edges faces okay see this dotted lines is nothing but back edges okay so if you rotate uh, by using the scroller option in a mouse then you can see the uh, this dotted lines is nothing but back faces back walls okay 
now next one is wireframe so if you select the wireframe almost in autocad we'll use a wireframe itself wireframe and conceptual design right so if we are familiar with that so here you can continue with wireframe or you can go with directly hidden lines okay now i will select uh, this shaded option with hidden lines okay so now you can see so this is what uh, hidden lines next one will be shaded shaded means normally we can see in a, a shaded part only so or shaded or we can call it as uh, conceptual also okay if you apply any texture materials and all so if you are not visible so then you need to select the texture option here here we have an option called shaded with texture okay so for example so i will apply any one material so here in a default tray just select a material option you drop down this and you can go with any brick and select the brick option just click on this okay so if you select a shaded part you can see you can observe the difference between shaded and with the texture shaded with texture if you select on shaded with texture itself it will be visible okay right uh, i will select another material and i will apply here see so to edit the sizes here we can go with edit option and here we can change the size of the material okay so i think now you understand what is shaded with texture and what is shaded so now you understand the difference between both right now this is what and last one will really be monochromatic okay so it looks like a plain uh, so if you want in a realistic view then you need to select the shaded with texture option okay so i think now you understand what are the views and what are the styles in sketchup and next uh, here in a toolbar large set of toolbar here you can see the orbit option and pan so zoom field zoom uh, zoom out zoom in okay so what is the use of this orbit means we can if you select the orbit option you can rotate into the 360 degrees like this either you can use orbit or directly you can go with uh, scroller in mouse okay if you just select the scroller and hold the scroller and directly you can rotate the object or a 3d model okay so this is what the option we are going to use in sketchup next one will be pan okay if you select the pan what we'll do we can adjust the height okay we can adjust the height of any 3d model okay so if you select of uh, now we will go to front view and here you can see we can adjust the view like this we can zoom in and we can zoom out and see like this okay so this part will be useful in camera view camera setting to add uh, scene options so if you go with a view animation you are going to add scene right so at that time it going to be used orbit and view to arrange the 3d camera view okay now uh, this is what zoom option zoom means so like this so it will be or, or we can call it as field of view field of view okay zoom in zoom out or you can directly enter the value here at the right bottom you can observe the field of view is in 35 degrees right if you want in a 45 you just enter 45 enter so here you can observe the degrees of camera view okay now if you enter 20 enter it will be zooming okay this is what zoom option or we can call it as field of view in sketchup now next one is zoom window means if you select particular say if you uh, select uh, if you select the area like this it will be zoomed okay so now if you want in a 3d view directly means you can go with zoom out or zoom extent okay if you click on this it will be zoomed out okay so i think now you understand what are the these are the main tools in sketchup 
at the time of creating a 3d model so these are the main tools so i think you understand what is the views and what are the styles and what are the uh, orbits uh, in a camera views okay so if you like the video and do subscribe my youtube channel for more videos and thanks for watching